Hello, and welcome to another season of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Um, let's hope this one goes better than better than our last season, and better than my first couple Gate Crasher attempts. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so we will go and start a new game. There's, I'll try to explain, I guess, any mod changes um, as they come up. We'll go on Legend. We'll reduce Beginner VO this time. So we'll do Not Created Equal again. Um, last time I had more HP for all and this, and then I realized I could just use this. So I'm not using the more HP for all, I'm just using the Not Created Equal. Rookies should come in with between 4 and 6 HP. So hopefully we get good rolls there. As far as the, uh, I'm using, also in, using the unintegrated Chin's Last Gift. Um, how I understand that, that works is that Sparks should still work as if they're integrated. Um, although I think I might get a free one. Um, but, uh, but this will trigger, we'll have the Shin's Last Gift mission. We'll see how it works anyway. So let's go, I guess. Let's hope we don't get some cutscene weirdness because I've been getting that We're a bit in. as well. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior of time and again offers only friendship and compassion. 
Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the Elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. seconds. See who we get. Will it be Reaper? Or Skirmisher? Or Templar? Or we could just have everyone die again, you know. Either way. When the spinning logo decides to tell us. Okay, so we have one of Kex's. We have... Um, oh, that's a skirmisher, it looks like. I didn't see who the other two were. Oh, we have Samurai. I think we have one of Flash's. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Squad concealment active. Alright, so we have Riley Van Sant, Siren. This is one of Kex's. So she has 5 health, which is good. Middle roll on health. 13 movement, 2 defense, 3 dodge. 64 aim, which is slightly before, below average. Um, Carol Sweetheart Lloyd. 4 HP, so she got a low roll. Good lord, 75 aim! Holy crap! 11 movement, okay. 1 uh, defense, 3 dodge. We have Kovac Neptune Franzisek, I guess. I'm just gonna call you Neptune. So he lo low rolled health too because he only has 5 as a squatty. 74 aim, that's pretty good. 12 movement, 7 dodge. And Hashiro Samurai Minamoto, 74 aim, another 5 roll on health, 10 movement though, and 4 defense. So I think we saw some people over here. Sounds like a plan. Oh, before I forget, so the skirmishers have these focus type things, um, which I guess is the heat sink. Um, so how this works, 
So it looks like we get plus seven and a half percent critical hit chance on ripjack attacks, which each a level of heat. So we have eight total. So that's what. 15 for every two, so it would be 30 for four, 60 with a full. Plus one damage for every two levels of heat. So I think this starts out with four. And so if you have two, you get additional. Um, and you gain grapple. So I don't know, I don't know how we fill this up. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Marauder, we know what that is. And the rest of this, we pretty much know. We do get the Ripjack Strike right away, which is good. But no justice, so... So that's going to be something I'm going to have to remember. All right, sell me. Menace 1-5, you're near the target position. Let's just kind of get around this thing. On it. Or not. Ten four. Raiders roll. Huh, I thought we saw people over here. Maybe not. Moving to position. Orders confirmed. On the move. Roger that. Luckily, we have people with pretty good aim. Eyes open, people. Hey, you hear anything? So we have our sectoid over there. Oh, oh shit. Hi. I mean, these guys make up the bulk of the got it, right? forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. So who has the worst aim? Siren, I think you're gonna be our our grenade thrower. Make sure you can actually do it. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to, yes. So Moving to Overwatch. I'm gonna leave you just in case. Moving to Overwatch. Be nice if one of these died. Frag out. Nice. They found us. What's that? Nice. Nice. He know that was good. And I guess I'll just overwatch. I don't mind a reasonable amount of trouble. I might want to move Samurai because this floor might... I don't trust this floor. Moving to position. It's killing time. I have a watch. It might even... Uh... Ready to rock. Got it covered. Drop him here. Oh. Let's see how this goes. Ah. Oh god, the other group is right behind him, too. Nice. Nice. We basically can't run at him at all. Yeah, 54. Who has the best shots on this guy? You can't even see him. I might want to move her now. 46. You can't see him. Alright, well you have the best shot and you have two shots. Assuming your grenade... Oh, it can! Do I want to just do that? I don't know if anyone else can reach. No. Uh, let's see what we can do with this trooper. 55. Nice. That makes things easy. Alright. Two pods down. Loot destroyed, oh well. 
Uh, Ready to engage. Scanning. I'm gonna move you just in I'm case because I don't trust that spot. Scanning. We'll see if we get this captain. All right. I know the captain is right back here. I don't. Okay, so he can. Apparently, this is telling us when we would trigger. Interestingly enough. Come get some. Back in. Come get some. Okay, count on me. Go ahead go. and reload everybody. I think we have two grenades left. Oh, come on. I kind of feel like just camping. Because, I mean, moving forward basically almost at all is revealing them. I mean, I kind of hate doing this. Okay, you still have cover, good. You don't mess with the fervent cowboy. You better stick close. Some weird on the radar. Why aren't they moving? Well, they're, now they're back there. Uh, like we might be able to get here. I wonder if we could try moving up here. On the move. Uh, I guess you can use your grapple. I don't know what the cooldown on this is. Yeehaw! This, this is not... Well, five, Jesus. This is not your typical skirmisher, that's for sure. Oh, there's... I think there's a... Uh, person there. Which is why I can't. Heading out. Scatter. Or not. Maybe that will tell maybe that will tell the other guy yelling. Yes. Yell. Come over here. Enemy movement ahead. I'm gonna come back here Moving just out. because I don't really want to uh, be out in the open, especially not on a. Whoa! Okay, yeah, they're close. Moving to Overwatch. Hostiles on the move. Yell some more. They refuse. They are absolutely what? refusing to come over here. I don't know how far around I can get. Surely they're going to see me here, right? Moving out. We're not getting any indicators, but Moving I mean, I'm pretty sure they're still... Right Something where they were, yeah.
Well, I mean, I'm not sure they're going to come to us. We could... Move Siren down to trigger them while overwatching at least uh, these two good overwatchers. Maybe I'm maybe I'll move her here and him here so that they're in cover and in a good position to maybe overwatch. The next time I'm gonna move her down. Oh, does she have a grenade? I'm not sure she does. No. Do I want to move her down without a grenade? I don't know if I do. But I'd really like to... Well, okay. Here's what we're doing, I think. You have the good movement, so I'm going to put no you down. Sure thing. Scanning, I'm just waiting for them to suddenly Scanning. walk into me here, What's anyway. Okay. They're going on Overwatch. You're going on Overwatch. I wish there was full cover here. I guess I could always move back into it if I have to. Maybe. There is full cover back here. I can handle that. And that didn't even trigger them. Okay. with the bourbon cowboy. Come get some. What's making that noise? My god, okay. God, I hate giving up this high ground, but... I'm not sure they're coming back around. That. <laughs> Yelling. He has no heat. Again, I'm not sure how you get like heat. Wish that was not a double move. Seems doable. Yes, yell little civilian. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Oh, is that gonna reveal someone? No. Okay, I must have just bothered the civilian again. Whatever's clever. The civilian is like having a heart attack over here. He's like, ah! Only these guys would walk into me while I'm Overwatch. That'd be great. Where'd they go? Well, I'm gonna move up to this full cover now. Whatever you say. Now, oh, now the I see. The Advent them. officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether a chunk He's almost certainly going to get to call in reinforcements. <laughs> Which is less than ideal. I mean, I might as well, I guess. Nice. Well, 
Uh, do we have anyone who can make it to this high cover? No. If you had better movement than 10, you would be able to, but alas, you cannot. You're not in range for a ripjack. There's no good high cover. Well, I could get you over here. Although I don't know what good that does. I could move you up here. Or I could move you up here. Yeah. Um. Pronto. Get some high cover. My god, man. Can't move there because it'll be flanked like nothing else. I don't like these cover choices particularly. Absolutely. I'm probably just going to hunker here. All set. I think I might just move here and hunker. I well, does the Captain have a grenade? Yes. So I probably don't want to get close enough that uh, that becomes a viable option if I can help it. So I think I'm just going to come over here and hunker as well. Okay, he's moving up. That's good. I can... Yep. Okay. If we can get rid of him this turn, that'd be great. I can deal with troopers. Got one foot in the grave here. So he can come up and kill him if necessary. We can grenade him. Grenade out. Only three. Um, will we need a grenade with these guys? Probably not. I'm just thinking, okay, so he can attack both of these guys. This is a kill. Uh, because it does four damage. Well, it's a kill on either, I guess. Um, at this point. So I'm what I might do... Is frag here, see if it kills. If it's not... I can have uh, her take a, what should be a pretty good shot. I kind of want to move closer sure to where the reinforcements are going to be. Oh, I hope you hit this. Okay, good. We're not going to get any overwatches. Let's not set, let's not catch on fire, please. Okay. Headshot. He should be able to kill... I hope there's only two. Yeah, there is, it looks like. He should be able to kill one of these right off. With his ripjack. I don't think that cools down. We've got advent here. Hopefully, we'll be able to easily flank the other. Just don't catch on fire, please. Okay, Samurai. So first off, you can rip Jack. You can rip Jack either. 
so let's try to get the one that's easier to kill. Closing on target position now. Uh, does anyone not have a promotion? Okay, everyone has a promotion except you, but you're not going to get both of these, so... Alright. Next. I can handle that. Eighty four. Okay. That's that's cool. Is it suddenly less? I don't know why this isn't counted as a flank. Well, let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Now I really regret, ha regret having her stand out in the open because I figured, oh god, that, you know... Jesus! I'm under fire! Wow. I guess you're getting both of these after all. No, I don't want to grapple. I want to do this. Let's see if we can get him promoted. Area is oh my god. Alright. Scanners are clear. Menace 1 5, we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. I'm on it. Seems Just doable. huddle next to this cover and Good to go. cry. Okay! I am really lucky. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. I wanted a flank and I don't know if there was any place with good cover. There might have been a half cover. Which I should have taken if there was. But I just kind of was like, well, surely we can kill this guy. All right, flawless. That that went a lot better. Almost wasn't flawless. Easily could have been kill a person killed. I kind of didn't realize that I think it was Riley was that far back. I thought she was going to get a flank shot as well. Local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All but weapon nope. fire and wounds were simulated to better train advent forces. Luckily the guy ran all the way back. Yeah, I think that might have hurt the shot chance. 67%. Alright, so we're going to have to see who all these people end up being. I have Commander's Choice, which is why I can't promote them here. Still didn't get promoted over here, even though he had four kills. Like, what did you need? <laughs> two kills, two kills, two kills, four kills. We got one intel. Oh, we blew up the thing with the goodies. That's right. I think it was the sectoid. Uh, to the who's up here? Labs. Oh, no one. Uh, well, I guess let's do research. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology. Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. 
Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Alright, well, normally I might do modular weapons if I had those weapons parts, but I don't. So I think I'm going to do hybrid materials, because then I can make uh, the nano fiber or nano scale vests, whatever they are. Um, I do we'll do find that. that area of research to be among the more intriguing oh we can go straight down for an exposed media. power coil I'll that's awesome complete report is available uh, I think I'll do the ring because I don't know if I'm gonna have I, I want to get a GTS up pretty quick but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it up fast enough no, I don't know if I'm going to get to Sergeant fast enough to warrant. Commander to engineering. Why is this 12 days? I am on... Yeah, I am on Legend because I got all three. Huh. I didn't think it was... I didn't think it took this little time. I am on Legend, right? How do I even check that? Change difficulty. Yeah, okay. I thought it took more time than this. That's why I was like, wait. He anyway, was let's go to engineering. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. All right, I always build a med kit. Now I'm broke. I got a report of some creaking down by the aft lift yesterday. Yeah, shut up. I just hope it's not metal fatigue. All right. Okay. So this looks like it's like one of these heroes of the old war or whatever. Um. So yeah, we have Kovac, Neptune, Frank, Francisek, I guess. Uh, samurai, Siren, Siren, Sweetheart. So Samurai. So what I was what thinking I about doing is. If I've read someone's bio, just kind of scrolling through it um, so that if you want to read it again, you can pause or whatever and read it. Um, and for new people, um, I'll read those their bios. Well, all three of these people are new, so I guess I'm still reading a lot of bios. Uh, we're getting Austin Watt Pong Pango, five health. No one, only, only this person got six health. We got some... Well, we have two with four, but we didn't get a lot of people with good rolls. Um, we have Jesse Cowboy Willer, Little No, Timmy, Riley Aron, Christian Demon Mars Mraz. Now I read his bio before, but apparently it got updated, so I get I'll read it again if he ever goes out on a mission. Oscar Shamu Zealand, Sam Spud Tanaka, Alexandra Caltris Stevens, and this person. I'll replace. Um, Jesus, 75, 74 aim. 
Um, I know that he would normally be like he would like to be an assault infantry. Um, I'm deciding whether to waste an assault infantry with someone with that high aim, but I suppose why not? Well, the minus of them being assault infantry is this tin movement. My god. If we ever got a uh, movement PCS, it's going straight on him. No one else is tin movement. Uh, I can see what her bio says, but I'm apt to make her the sharpshooter because she has the best aim. Riley, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. They're one XP away. All these have four out of one. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and read... Read their bios. At least the ones that I haven't read before. So this is... Kovac Neptune Franzesic, I guess. The one with the cowboy... Cowboy talk. The cowboy skirmisher. Country of origin, Poland. Date of birth, December 17th, 1989. I'm not sure why you're a skirmisher if you were born in 1989. I'm not going to question it. Kovac was nothing but a city guard before the invasion. He had no family to speak of, lived alone, and had almost no friends. Dreaming about being a hero since his childhood, he tried to become a fireman, but was refused after failing in a very important section of his desk. He was afraid of heights. Well, I'm glad you were able to camp out on top of the buildings at the start of this mission. <laughs> Working as a city guard was an absurdly bad, as he had occasionally opportunities to help people here and there, but never got the opportunity to actually make a real difference. Once the evasion hit and everything once the evasion hit and everything changed, Kovac saw himself completely out of place since he couldn't really fight the invaders and would never work for them once they settled in. Apparently that changed. So instead he chose to seclude himself and work on the most basic jobs to get by. One night, however, he would finally get have the chance to be a true hero and his life would then be, be changed forever. During a fight between an Advent Peacekeeper Patrol and a small group of Advent Defectors that would later become part of the Skirmishers, a house used by the Defectors as shelter caught fire and had people inside that didn't have anything to do with the conflict. Kovac, which was Kovac, who was passing by, heard screams and instantly threw himself in there, pulling as many people out as he could. Humans or not, he made no distinction. Unfortunately, he got huge portions of his body burned in the process and would not survive if not for the help of the defectors. I see where this is going. Carried by them to a small outpost on the outskirts of civilization, treated and considered as a true hero for them as he ignored their origins and treated them as equals while they were in need. Kovac didn't have anywhere else to go as his face was now known for helping Advent defectors. The soon-to-become skirmishers then Accepting him in their, their ranks. Okay. The soon, be, the soon to become skirmishers then accepted him in their ranks, adop adopting him as a friend and brother in arms, training him on their combat discipline and even helping him overcome his previous fear of heights. Well, I'm, I'm glad you weren't afraid when you were on top of the building then. Now, Kovac found a family among the freed slaves from Advent, and with their tools and weapons at his disposal, he can now be a hero he always dreamt to be. Okay. So he's. He's not really a skirmisher, but he's a skirmisher. Yes, but actually no. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do the kind of scroll through his bio. Wrong thing. Uh, so... Yeah, so he's kind of the really traditional Japanese guy. Invasion happened when he was 16. Okay. Okay, hopefully that's enough. I read it last time, so hopefully if you haven't seen it and you want to pause to read it, 
That'll be good enough. Uh, Riley. So this was a bio done by Flash, I believe. But the uh, character design is Kex's. Beware the Siren Song. A popular figure in folklore since ancient times, sirens are mermaid-esque creatures. They are said to have lured in sailors far at sea with their enchanting singing and unrivaled beauty only to viciously murder them using their body parts as food. Yum. While no fish, Riley is a rather human embodiment of the ancient creature. Known in the resistance for running her own radio station, she largely broadcasts on broadcasts her own work. Her songs have been described as captivatingly beautiful and impossible to turn off. As a plus, they tend to contain messages inspiring action and continued resistance, and have been cited as the reason for an uprising in an advent slum based around Birmingham. Not just a pretty face and voice, Riley is also the person that acquired and set up the equipment for the station in the first place. She isn't the most skilled with firearms, but her talent with technology more than makes up for it in the field. So it sounds like you should be like a, uh, a tech specialist. She has created a specialized device that she uses to draw in patrols. Again, like her namesake, like, like her namesake mythological creature, allowing her compatriots to light them up with relative ease. Most ironically, she is an excellent swimmer. While Riley's only taste of the water is the lake near her haven, she frequently takes trips down there both to keep fit and to relax. Admittedly, it's not a crucial skill in the resistance, but it does further add to her siren image. No one has caught her eating people yet, but it might be best to keep an eye on her just in case she does turn into a fish woman. Cool. So, what, uh... You don't have the best hack, but it is one better than average. Uh, given your background, I am going to make you a tech specialist. If it will let me. There we go. So some of these have changed, especially the tech specialist tree, so I'll definitely want to a check on that. Uh, I was kind of hyped with failsafe being here on squatty rank, but I'm not sure when we actually get um, you know, we get Haywire Protocol at Sergeant, so it's kind of like, why bother? <laughs> I mean, the thing that's replaced was kind of equally as useless, so it's not really something that, I mean, what, I guess you could hack, I guess it would be useful for hacking uh, the towers, because you can do that now. Sweetheart. Another lengthy flash bio, probably. Origin America, birth date, January 24th, 2013. So she would be 22. Raised mostly amongst a rather free spirited Haven, Carol never really liked her parents or the other Haven members. While the Haven raised her well, oh shut up, Bradford, really it never felt loving considering the identity of her father was never I truly known. This was because the Haven's free spirit nature was taken rather literally. The Haven being basically an evolved hippie commune. Have I read this? I can't remember if I've read this. I know I've read it, I can't remember if I've read it on air. This often led to rather open sexual relationships, hence the confusion on her father. But as she grew, one of the few in the Haven listening to the Resistance Radio... Was it Sirens? No, it was Resistance Radio. Carol heard all the effort other Havens were putting in and resented her Haven's lack of action. Eventually, she turned her back on the Haven leaving and heading for another one. She was accepted with open arms, swiftly taught the art of firearms. However, they realized that she could serve a better purpose. Having never acted out against Advent or lived in their cities, her existence was practically unknown to their alien overlords. This meant if she slipped into cities unseen, she could move through them with impunity. Well, that kind of works with maybe a marksman who can uh, get concealment. Which is good, because she has the best aim, so I was thinking about making her a marksman anyway. 
Combine this with her attractiveness and willingness to use this to her advantage, an ability to be quite scary when she wants to be, and Carol was the perfect infiltrator. She often slipped into a city, threatened, or extracted the information she wanted out of some of the humans working for Advent, then slipped out again. This is how XCOM came to hear of her. With useful information and skilled combatant, Carol was eventually convinced to join. She might look less than threatening, but annoy her and you'll just see how non-threatening she can be. Alright. So yeah, with your 75 aim, I believe I'm going to make you a marksman. I kind of would like a field medic, but, you know, you're samurai. So, you have to be an assault infantry, right? You have a freaking sword. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So, no one got injured. That's great. Uh, let's see. Wow, a 9.9 .9 with Oscar. 9.1 .1 with Alexandra. Wow, you have... <laughs> For Siren's reputation, she doesn't have good compatibility with anyone. 9.6 with Pango, 8.9 with Alexandra. Eh. Yo, you can bond with just about anyone. 8.0 with Austin. 9.7 with Riley, 9.2 with Oscar. 9.7 with Timmy. 9.4, 8.8, 8.6. 9, 2 above 9 for Oscar. 7.4 with Spud with Deadpan. 9.1 with Samurai. 8.9 with Carol. So this person, uh, basically what I'm going to do is between episodes, I'm going to go check to see um, who all is in this list and who's all on the recruitment list. If someone doesn't have a character in either, I'll put them here. If everyone has a character in at least one list, uh, I'll make this someone who uh, isn't at least in this list. Speaking of that list, let's see who's there. Uh, we have Audrey Bellamy, which is another one of Kex's. Amelia Wolf, Hideo Sato, Laverne Hines. I don't know why these pictures aren't loading. Hans Vont Wilharms, Alex Martucci, Kathy Blake, Lexi Burns, Owen Williams, and Thomas Phil. So I might be the one who gets my gets to put a character in that spot. I'll see if there's anyone else who doesn't have any characters in any of these in any in either list, but I might be the only one. I don't know. Uh, if I am, then I guess I'm getting one of my characters in. Cause I don't have anyone in either list, I don't think. So here first I think I'm going to go straight down for this power coil. But uh, out here, we're in New India, Commander, looks like. Good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. All right. So... Okay, they're still giving me quite a few here. Um, I don't know why. Why am I getting so many of these? You know them as they were. The soldiers of Advent. So at one point I was only getting like one, and then I changed one line of code and I was getting several. And then I changed several other lines of code and I'm still and I then I commented out again and I'm still getting several. So we'll see whether this becomes a problem. Um Boy, reduced contact costs is great. 18, 12 days. So I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this grenade ammo and then go over to this reduced combat uh, contact cost. Avenger plotting new. Hopefully, assuming there's nothing else that pops up that's better. Not 
think I could have predicted right. this hybrid outcome. materials are done. Though it is intriguing. We can get this nanoscale vest, although I don't. Ooh, modular wall. Great, because that's where I was going next. I agree. That is an important task. I don't know if I have. Just the word and I'll get started, Commander. <laughs> yeah. I don't have the supplies. I probably could have saved a lot. I'm sure you could. Okay. So now we have this mission. So we get an incendiary grenade and dragon round. So I guess this is a lot of fire. Recover item from advent facility. So we probably want to bring our tech specialist. Um, so how these missions work is... Um... I have to double check to see if they reduce the level by the uh, difficulty by one or two. I think it was two is how I have it set. So these will never get above moderate. Also, the force level, the it'll, the force level for this mission will be half of the global force level. Because I mean, if you're going after like a grenade or twenty Illyrium crystals or something, I mean, is it really worth it to have? A full-fledged mission I'm thinking no so um, so if you have like a force level of six globally this mission force level will be three we're at force level one so it doesn't really matter also chosen and alien rulers should not show up on this mission either sector five India so I want to take out at least one more rookie um, I want to take you out because I want to get you promoted. This is in the slums. You would be useful for the bang bangs. Traditional sword. You can carry the combat knife too as well. Uh, what does this do? Requires one action, does not end your turn. 20% chance to hit. I thought there was a thing where, uh... It reduced your running gun, but I guess not. I'll just take the traditional sword, I guess. Uh, so who do I, who am I not going to bring? I mean, if I lean towards anyone, it would probably be Siren, but it, it might be nice to be able to do the hack. Uh, especially if we get a reward. Uh, that's right, you don't have any special full pop. Uh, I guess we'll not take you. Wow, Alexander, 71 aim. Uh, yes, please. I think I'll put the medkit on me, too. Having a flashbang? Uh, if we have a sectoid, that could help. She can only carry a bullpup. That's going to be the problem here, though, is we have two people with bullpups. I don't know how much I like that, despite your hacking. You do have combat protocol. You have all the protocol stuff that could be useful. Anyway, yeah, I think I'll set this up for now like this. I'll see if I change my mind. Um, anyway, Samurai, Siren, Calatris, and Neptune. Operation Mountain Knife, recover an item from Advent Facility. And we are getting a incendiary grenade and dragon rod. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you here next time.